the political indoctrination of North Korean children is absolutely relentless. This is an extraordinarily aggressive type of education that's being provided to these children. They are taught hatred very early on in life. The ultimate goal of the North Korean leadership is to maintain, to preserve the Kim regime. In order to do that, they have to indoctrinate North Korea's children. Those in charge of forging Kim Jong-un's new cult of personality are trying hard to embed an element of likability in this new personality cult for a new leader. Over the years, we've seen numerous fascist and communist dictators surrounding themselves with children. There's a symbol of a leader who truly cares about the future of the country, symbolized by these children that he surrounds himself with. If you look at photos of these kids appearing with Kim Jong-un, on occasions, some of them look happy. On other occasions, they're all crying and sobbing. It's almost as if Kim Jong-un were the North Korean version of Justin Bieber. At the age when others in the outside world might think of rebelling, or even rebelling against a certain form of government, against repression, against uh, a government engaged in human rights violations and extraordinary political repression, at that very age, North Korean young men are in uniform. And they're subjected not only to intensive military training, but also to political indoctrination that builds on the political indoctrination that happened during their school years. And thus, the indoctrination of North Korean children contributes significantly and is one determining factor in the staying power of the North Korean regime and the, the survivability of the North Korean regime. However, we all know the sad and unfortunate truth, North Korea is a country that cannot look after its children, cannot provide a future for its children. One third of North Korea's children are malnourished. The infant mortality rate is quite terrible, 18.5 out of 1,000 live births. These are fairly sobering figures.